Today I would like to talk about Arrat, uh, Arabic, which is thunder. Yes. Uh, there is one surah, not a verse, but one surah in the Quran talking about Arrat, the thunder. And that surah is number 13 actually in the Quran. Um, Arrat actually is a living thing that uh, is worshipping Allah and the tasbih to Allah. Uh, and when we see the thunder, when we hear it, is automatically, if the thunder is too hard, if it's too loud, people will fear that. And imagine, how about Allah? There's a lot of people doing sins all around and they do not fear because Allah is everywhere. You know, when you do something, other people don't see, but Allah is watching you. Which means when you commit sin, you do not fear what you're doing is wrong. Instead, you have to be thinking that Allah is watching you and you have to fear because you'll be judged upon what you're doing. You do good, you do bad, Allah is watching all the time. But Allah is the greatest. We can do sins and we do not think about Him. Imagine, this is uh, like uh, we do not uh, give too much attention to ourselves and to Allah. Sometimes people when they do a bad stuff, they will forget that Allah is watching because they do not fear that's the reality if you fear you will never do it your Iman is becoming stronger from your heart but imagine the thunder that when we hear the thunder is too loud we will fear the thunder and we will try to go somewhere and hide because the thunder is too strong and loud The loud of the thunder can make people shake. But imagine, the thunder is worshipping Allah. It means the thunder is worshipping Allah and then Malaika. Well, Malaika min khifati. Malaika too huge like Jibrail with 12 wings. One of his wings, he can hold the whole world. That's how big is Jibreel. And they are worshipping Allah and they are scared from him. And Malaika, especially Malaika also, they do not commit sin. Allah said. Whatever Allah asks them to do, they will do. But they still be tasbih to Allah. They worship him. They pray to Allah. Because they are scared and they are shivering. And the thunder is praying to Allah as well. The thunder that we are scared from is praying to Allah because the thunder and the malaika are fearing Allah. And then in the Quran said, وَيُرْسِلُ الصَّوَاعِقَ فَيُصِيبُ بِهَا مَا يَشَاءُ And then he will send all the lightning and Allah will hit whoever he Ones. And then human can argue about Allah. And Allah is the greatest. Who are we? Even the thunder is scared and trying to pray to Allah, and the malaika who doesn't commit sin is praying to Allah because they are they are fearing Allah. And we can argue about Allah. Why Allah you give me this? Why you give that person more? We are arguing why Allah is putting us on this earth. Why Allah is uh, giving that person more? Why I'm less? We cannot argue. We cannot ask that. That is beyond our line. When we cross, there is hudud. Hudud doesn't mean that 
when people commit sin and then you you throw them rajam or you whip them all it's not only that hudud is a line we cannot cross certain lines it's dangerous it's not on our side we cannot one of it we cannot question Allah back that's why Allah mentioned this in Surah Al-Rad وَيُسَبِّحُ الرَّعْدُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ خِيفَتِهِ وَيُرْسُلُ الصَّوَاعِقَ فَيُصِيبُ بِهَا مَنْ يَشَاءَ وَهُمْ يُجَادُلُونَ فِي اللَّهُ وَهُوَ شَدِرُ الْمِحَالِ Why Allah mentioned that? Because a lot of human are questioning Allah back especially now a lot of people I can hear it it's like a common thing nowadays but actually they do not know what is the consequence of doing so. You do not question the one who created you. You obey him. You listen to what he asks. You do what you're supposed to do. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I created jinn and ins, human being and jinn, only for worshipping. You do not think about other things. Your risk will come to you Whatever you do, you get a child or you do not get a child, you get a boy, you get girls, all of that is been written. That is your risky. You get what you deserve, you maybe what you don't deserve, but Allah already did that for a purpose. Sometimes certain things Allah do is for a purpose we do not know. But we have to accept it because Allah is the greatest. The reason we are on this world is because we have to worship Allah. We do not argue why and why. No. So when we do as we told, inshallah, you and me will become a better Muslim, a better Muslim.